I have to ask you a question. You're a black Republican. Yes. Uh, there are, there are, that, well, actually, that wasn't the question part. That was more of a statement. Um, there are currently no black Republicans in Congress. There are very few black Republicans in positions of prominence nationally. There is, in fact, a sense, fair or unfair, I suspect you'll say unfair, that the Republican Party has not been particularly hospitable to black elected officials. Help us understand why you are a Republican. And does race have any bearing at all on your decision to join one party or another? Uh, race doesn't have a bearing. Um, my father was a United States Air Force officer, uh, retired as a major, and he was a Republican and, and is. Uh, although when I say Republican, uh, he's not voted 100% and neither have I uh, for Republican candidates. Did you vote for President Obama? I won't say who I voted for. <laughs> you understand, I, you know, yeah. I have to ask. Yeah, but, um, uh, but I'm excited, I was excited about his candidacy uh, because of what it meant to the nation and the progress in uh, not only politics but uh, this, this whole idea of access to opportunity. So, but, but, so that, that, I mean, that's one reason. Um, I voted in uh, Republican uh, primaries primarily because the, of, of the judges. I thought the, the judges in most instances uh, were very good. The, these were, uh, Governor Clements had appointed a whole slew of governors back in the, in the, I guess, early 80s that were just highly regarded in Bear County. Um, and then in terms of what the party is doing in Texas, you start looking and the first African American that I can recall in the statewide office was Lewis Stearns, the Governor Clements appointed to the Court of Criminal Appeals for a statewide office. And then I started looking at, well, there's, uh, you know, on our court today, there's myself and Dale Wainwright, but and then there are Hispanics, David Medina and uh, Eva Guzman. And in the history of uh, politics in, in the Democratic Party, I hadn't seen that sort of diversity at the top. Uh, it came with the Republican Party, and that was sort of impressive to me. So, you uh, believe the Republican Party nationally reflects the values of the African American community sufficiently that you feel comfortable saying that African Americans should e absolutely consider be, you know, becoming Republicans? I say they should consider it um, because you want to have influence uh, in not just your own little corner of the world. Uh, you, you ought to, if, if there are principles that uh, any party, uh, Republican or Democrat, uh, that you think you could help further, that are, that are good for the nation, then why not? Uh, you know, the, the, the Republican Party doesn't, uh, I'm not, there, there are many uh, policy issues that I disagree with in the Republican Party. There are many in the Democratic Party that I agree with, you know, and, and if I were in the, in the Democratic Party, I'd try to change things around. But the truth is, um, I don't think about politics that much. My job is, uh, as I mentioned earlier. What does this statute mean? Uh, what direction should the common law take? We don't get political question cases mm -hmm. very often. Uh, and so I spend 90% you know, of my time you know, doing that instead of thinking about this political world. Um, so that's okay. where I am. And, and when, and when <laughs> newspapers will say, uh, federal or state, this uh, decision was by a Republican judge or a Democratic judge, I think that's laziness on the part of the uh, of the journalists. I think, who cares how they came to the bench? What is, is what they decided uh, respectable? Is it valid? Is it legitimate, legitimate compared to the rule of law? 